It's a good thing that's not my water pail. You little monkey. What do we got? What is this all about? Okay, come here. There. Come on. Come here. You little monkey. It's weird, they all, they're all in from the back. I've never really seen that first thing in the morning. And you're all standing. <laughs> How you doing, Mama? Nothing yet. There's a lot of very, very ready use. Yeah. Good Sunday morning. Yeah, no babies. Again, the one thing I wish I did this lambing, which I swear I was gonna do because Jack was home. Cook up uh, a timer for my lights. So at four o'clock I can just turn them on. At least I can see, for the most part, I can see with my Nest cameras if there's lambs out here and I could check it from my bed. Like I can check at bedside and literally just set my alarm for an hour later and just do that in the morning. However, it's been okay getting up before. If there's no lambs, I go back to the house and I actually do all my editing from the vlog the night before or the day before. So, it, the time doesn't go to waste, it just makes for a really long day. The daily vlogging's been, it's actually been good for me. I've really found, for the last little while, it's been, it's been getting tougher and tougher, you know, to remember my why and, and to, you know, it was, I was losing the, the love for it because I felt like I was having to think up content. Like, I had to think up what I'm going to show you guys and it's like, no, that wasn't the whole point of this. The point of, of, of vlogging was to take you along with me, not to teach you stuff really. Like, like I want you to learn as I'm learning. You know, I'll do the odd how I've learned to do stuff for you guys if, if there's a lot of questions for it. But I find the way I learn is I like following people in their journey, like in their everyday life, and seeing what I could use in, in my world and what I couldn't. And I think I was really starting to veer away from that. In the summer, I did a lot more of it because we were in the fields together as a family. And I really, I just, even if you guys didn't like it, I loved editing it because it was actually documenting time with my family. And, and uh, I don't know, I really enjoyed that. So I guess with the slamming, I went back to doing that again. And I've found, I've really found again my, the love that I was starting to lose for vlogging because I was really overthinking everything. Just hours and hours of editing. And now I edit in about four hours now. Whereas before that was like four hours a day, four to six hours a day on one video for like a week. This has really forced me to stop overthinking and stop trying to figure out what you guys want and go back to just sharing what I do every day because when it's too overthought and too overproduced, then I guess me as a viewer, I don't like seeing that either. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Do you like the daily vlogging? Should I just go back to once a week? Um, I posed a question the other day on my community tab and all, all of you were awesome and, and just said, you know, daily vlogs are great, uh, but just do as many as you can without getting too burnt out. I've, I've been able to keep up because I've had help here. I've had Krista through the day over the holidays. But yeah, like all daily vlog, if it makes sense to daily vlog right now, it makes sense because you're following an actual live lambing. I don't even think you've barely missed any. And if you've missed them, I recap and show you what you've missed. So um, I don't know. I think it's been pretty cool. It's been a good little experiment 
uh, I'm just, I'm getting near the end of it and I'm getting tired, but I'm really glad I did it because it's really, it really truly has um, reminded me of why I started it and why I love it so much. So, thanks for watching if you have watched it. How's my babies today? You guys all get let out today. The great one. How's your udder today? Looks good. My quaddies. We had two more big lambs. I helped her. Uh, she probably could have got it out, but this one's both legs and head, which is right, we're coming out. It was just really big, so she let out some really good big pushes and some yelps, and they popped out. And she's full of milk. <sighs> okay. Another little baby, and I think one coming, but that is a big lamb. And then there were three. Forward, forward, backwards. So pretty much if I see them lambing now, I'm gonna just check everyone because there's just been, that's the third or fourth backwards lamb in two days, which is kind of weird. Okay, I'll leave you alone, Mom. I did take a little bit of time this morning and tore down a few more lambing pens. Made that pen bigger for these guys. Let out some new ones today, my babies. So they're doing quite well. Oh, I forgot to move her out. That's okay. So I do have to record all these new ones today, eventually. And two of those quads are gonna have to go to the milk machine and leave two with mom. What do we have here? <laughs> it's a good thing that's not my water pail. You little monkey. <laughs> what do we got? all about. Okay, come here. There. Come on. Come here. There, you little monkey. Come here. Yeah, we're gonna go. I'm gonna take these guys down to the uh, milk machine. They're just not getting enough. Okay, I'm gonna pick you, and I know you drink. those two with mom and I'll pull these two off. You ready? Okay. So this one got right on it. Which is pretty amazing. It's really hungry.
Well, it's uh, seven, eight at night. I brought in those quads this afternoon. They drank really good on the machine. I just want to make sure they're still drinking really good on the machine. So I'm gonna do that now. I don't think there's any new lambs. I don't think there's any new lambs. Why hello. Well, you got milk on your face. Yes. You've got a milk mustache. I think you've drank. Have you drank? Okay. I'm gonna see if I can get the... What are you doing? You wanna be over here too? Oh my goodness. Do you want over here? Oh, you like it over here, don't you? Okay. There you go. <laughs> you just want to be over with me? Hi. All right. Okay, you're my new one. You have milk on your face. You must have found it. Come here. Come here. Listen, you monkey. Okay, so we got a little bit of a traffic jam. I've been working on this one all day. And I th think I finally got it on it. This is the one, I keep bringing this one in the pen to help train, but it will now, it will not go over there. So we'll let it finish drinking. So what I try to do when I'm training new lambs on the machine, what I typically do is I like to leave one or two that know what they're doing in the pen with the ones I want to train. It just makes it easier. Number one, they keep the, they keep the milk warm for the babies uh, because they'll be on the machine a little bit more. For these new lambs to get on another nipple, if the, if the milk that's sitting in the line is cold because they haven't been on it very much, they won't probably take it because they're used to mom. They're only like a day old, right? So what happens is like that little black one, will, it'll get rid of all the cooler milk. So it has to basically clean out the line and then the milk will be warm for all the other ones. And then it just, because it's over there doing its thing, it's just monkey see, monkey do, and it just gets them all interested. Today, earlier when I was here, I was trying to get them trained, but all they wanted to do was turn around and look at me. So now, they're at, they know where it is now. So we've made progress today. So these are the two I pulled out today, these 103s, and the 98s I pulled out yesterday. I think I might have, I think I might have a favorite. I think so. I think so. <laughs> Popcorn, she is, she is a mean you to everybody, everybody else. If they come near her lamb, watch this. She's a mean one. Oh, she didn't. Hello, Popcorn. Hi. Your babies are looking good. They look sleepy. So kind of a quiet day. Only uh, one, two, two lamb today. And I think we're down to about 25 or 27 ewes left. There's 33 in this pen that are left, three have lost their lambs, 
and there's at least three that have no udder at all. So they've either reabsorbed or something's happened. Maybe they aborted earlier on before, but between when Rebecca scanned and I moved them in here. There's a few that look really close uh, next couple days, I'm thinking, but it feels like we're just kind of trailing off right now. Today, I really just got caught up with chores. Uh, Carissa had today off. So I just took the day, I fed and observed. I cleaned up a lot of my egg bag plastic that's been driving me crazy. I've been looking at it for weeks. And so I got that cleaned up and just everything bedded. The barn's been really quite nice because it's been warm enough that the curtains have been open. So I haven't had that sweating and condensation, which has been just amazing. But today was rainy and kind of gross, but so other than that, you haven't really missed. There hasn't been a big update. Uh, I guess the biggest thing was just making this pen bigger for these guys. And this is gonna even change again because this pen here is like literally blowing out of the seams. So I still have to make this pen bigger. I'm just waiting for these guys to finish lambing so I can move everything down that way a little bit because they don't need as much room as the first half. There's not near as many use in this pen. 